This is it. We made it. A few steps is all that separates you from the ocean. We have the room past the partition, then we'll be at the core. Gonna puke? So I Spray me, little shit.
Oh, no, you fucked me. Monitor, shut up. Thank you. 
Smash up. Kill Silver. And once, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, John. He's here with us. Hey, Pan Am. I'm going to miss that constant bickering. What the fuck are you the talking about? Fight. In the end, I never knew got you. More stubborn. Silver Hand Put triumphs. Family into fire. And in the end, did exactly that. Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber jaunt. So I gotta thank you now. V, shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself.
Let us go then, you and I. When the evening is spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets, the muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels, and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Mitt cobbled together a good plan. Been my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now, nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us? Johnny, not gonna lie. But you best prepare your ass for the fucking kick of the century. Got no idea where you'll land after it, but sure hope it'll be far away from me. Alt? Alt! You here? Haven't caught on yet, have you? What? What do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. Your output don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next step's to copy you into the gonk's brain. What? Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny Data incursion and override, but V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer his psyche back into his brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. Do still plan to obliterate Makoshi? Mm-hmm. It's gotta burn. What about everyone locked away there? I will free them. Take them with me. Cut the crap. We'll gobble them up like so many morsels of code. Make them part of you. As if they could hope for anything better. Come on. Yeah, they get so they that's get really it. Pussy. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Christ, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Had this planned all along, didn't you? Never had any intention of keeping me alive. Is that a fucking joke? You backstabbing motherfucker! You just fucking kick back, dumbass grin on your face, and you waited till I finally realized you had me fucked from the start. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Alt, question. Will the body reject Johnny's construct? No. They are compatible. The body is his. That's enough, Alt. V and I need a minute. Oh yeah, we fucking do need a minute. I can't believe it. Everything. All we did. 
it was pointless. I've had enough of this. Of everything. You most of all. Perfect. Because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping me body. Where's she even gonna take you? Beyond the Black Wall. To become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like? Beyond the Black Wall. Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind. At least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just... So we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Jesus. A shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife. I really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations. From the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. We're left with fading memories. We're sharing a bed. Head splitting hangovers, sea breeze on my face, sun's heat on my shoulders. So take back your life. The six months you got left. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price, anyway. Because of that. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's hope. It could be the flames of hell or heaven's grace. It might also be an engram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah. That instinct's part of being human. But so is denying. There's really no other way. As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant, I don't know, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here, for folks like us, wrong city, wrong people. You have the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. I told you. I said I wanted you to have my body. But... But I can't do it. I'm sorry. Fuck's sake, defend yourself. You're not even trying. You know, you taught me to let go sometimes. Save my strength for one last big bang. Goodbye, me. And never stop fighting.
This dam. Remember it well. Our beginnings. I did not know what to make of you then. And now you do? You'll not get any tearful confessions out of me. Yeah, I wouldn't be tearful. I know you. What I think of you now matters not at all. Tomorrow we will be elsewhere. We'll start everything anew. You and I. Ask me then. Can't hardly wait. Get ready, Arizona. Here we come. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. They'll never find us. I can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel never to see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly Would your you last stay glance with at those buildings. If I change my mind. Didn't want to leave. They're my family, V. I can't abandon them. I wouldn't want to. And I'm glad I won't have to choose. You're coming with us. And then... We will see. Then? Maybe we ought to try not living for thens anymore. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. Just a little blood, Pan Am. It's nothing. V, promise me. As soon as we arrive down south, we'll go to my contacts. We'll fix... Whatever needs fixing. Won't lose me, Pan Am. I promise. But you'll have enough of me yet. Saul, once. Do you know what he told me? That anyone is truly free just once. When they know they have nothing to lose. Exactly. Next month, that's us. Got nothing to lose, and that's how we live. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Well, Night City. Good night and good luck. This is rot. I've heard enough. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. Think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyway, things will be different now. Gotta be. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Haywood. The pierogies down by the docks. Mm. Seriously? You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Really? Then I can't wait.
Of course, our new lives will be nothing but pure fucking chaos. Of that, I have no doubt. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be a good life. I can feel it. And you'll sense it too. from Night City or going to your granny's for cookies and milk. Gun it or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Bitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable. It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses, toughened. Made almost fry-proof in Panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the Panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone, even through the air conditioning. It's that storm getting close. Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place. They are indeed. Come see us when you're done. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. To the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. Wait. Are we talking about one of those famous Aldecaldo tunnels? Mm-hmm. One of the oldest ones, this one, too. They dug through right after the first war. Aldecaldo stopped using it years ago. We got tipped off that Night Corp had found it and started monitoring the area. You scan it? You sure the tunnel's even open? Hasn't caved in anywhere? It's open along its entire course. And all it needs is to stay open for us this last time. Then it can collapse. We won't be needing it anymore. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> So even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Thanks. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. All right, buddy. That's rock and roll, man. Ready to hop in and sell off in the seven seas. Pan Am. 
Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So Jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad. Behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly go straight. Go around the bigger holes and don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Fuck. I just realized something. What? The border wall. It wasn't here when I was there. I never imagined it would be. But I had this inkling that everything was different up north. That some bright fucking future awaited me there. Yeah, I think I know what comes next. Once you wound up on the other side and nothing changed, you thought Night City was the answer. Everything would change there. Yes. You know the tale's end, too. Not returning. Right back to where I started. Fuck. No. Might be the same place on the other side, same space, but you're different. Totally different. All in all, you're right. And I have you. And the rest of these clowns. Always. Then hit it! Home stretch! Full speed ahead! They've launched the drones! Carol! Cassidy! Get moving! I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Go on, kids! See you on the other side. The Nitro is ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet.
Sounds perfect. All great, Pan Am. We're going home. How's life out there in the desert? Getting some sun? Some fresh air in those lungs? Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. Hey, V. Long time no see. Let me guess, you still the top of your game in all of Night City? <laughs> yeah, I left all that. I guess I'm just calling to say thanks. For everything. Wasn't until I'd left everything behind that I realized how depressed I was for all that time. Take it from me, V. If you ever get the chance, just leave. Leave and don't look back. The weight it takes off your shoulders, I... I can't even describe it. All right, enough lecturing. Take it easy, man. Hey, V. Listen, I don't think I'll make it back to camp tonight. Sandstorm's coming our way. No choice but to sit tight and hold it out. Just wanted to say, uh, I know this isn't the first time. You know, that we had plans. Never realized how hard being a chief would be. Always looked so easy from the outside. I'm just, I'm so lucky to have you, V. You can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me. Storm's how closing in. 30 seconds to blackout. Guess it's time to go. I'll make it up to you. I promise. V. Hey. Christ, that run we did. My heart's still pounding. The pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, oh, oh. I mean, the odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we've walked through hell and back with you, brother, anytime. Until next time, eh? Take care. Hey, Rogue here. I wanted to... Oh, voicemail. <laughs> Why not? V? I was wondering if you could pass a message along to Johnny. Two messages, actually. One, that he's an arrogant, egotistical son of a bitch. And second, that it was nice to talk to him again. Both of you, take care of yourselves, okay? Before samurai committed to seppuku, they wrote Jisei, a death poem. It contained their final thoughts about life, about death. I have read many of them of late. Some were truly works of beauty. Yet, I am not a samurai, so I bid you farewell with simple words. Rot in hell, Xero. Listen, I was just thinking about you, so I laid out a quick tarot. I know, I know the reading's not as strong without you here, but we haven't seen each other for so long, and I... Well, one thing led to another. You know what I drew? The chariot, the lovers, 
and the sun. <laughs> Looks like you've got a good life ahead of you out in the Badlands. Good luck, V. Be free. Brother just retired. What? Stocks? No. He won't be causing any more problems. Of course. I will make sure he tells us everything. Otoko got here. I'm going to be a combat. もちろんです。わかりました。This at all. This porcelain bitch is the worst kind of news. Can you chill for two sex? We go in, we talk, we leave. That's it. Did the place? Shit. Excellent. You have come. Let's step to it then. Before we discuss details, I feel I owe you an explanation. I must tell you why I changed my mind and wish to help. Weren't sure of anything. If you could trust me. If you and Obu killed your father, now... I knew. From the start. You... knew? All the board members knew. Not one soul even slightly interested in the matter believed in the poisoning. Details were disparate. Inconsistent.
You knew, but didn't do a thing about it. Why? Suddenly sprout a conscience just yesterday? My father had flaws. I know this. I harbor no illusions about it. When a foe needed removal, my father ordered it without a thought to mercy. A way of being Yorinobu could not abide. But to my father, ends ever justified means. Saburo Arasaka has always valued just one thing. Do you know what it is? Ties that bind. Yes, family. Oh, I'm going to rest this. 